Hey, what's up guys? Damien here and welcome back to the channel. And today we're going to be going over why all women are ghosting you in 2024 after your first date, after a couple texts, maybe it was just the first swipe. <laughs> I'm going to explain it and I'm going to give you four reasons why. Number one is you text too much. You talk too much. You're trying to ask her. Like you literally don't even know each other. This is this is for like when you're first starting a date out. Um, could even be during a relationship. But um, there's a such thing as talking too much and texting too much. Uh, where you're going to scare her away. So a lot of guys, uh, because they don't get that many dates. Um, whenever they get anybody to respond to them, they'll send like, like a machine gun, like like seven tech messages in a row. Like you gotta understand, like you know, she doesn't even know you. She thinks you're probably a creep, like because a lot of other guys she's been with, total total creeps. You know, you maybe you're catfishing her, so she's got a lot, a lot going through her mind. So when you send that many texts or try to talk to her, set everything up, it's too much. So here's what you need to do, um, you know, set the date for next week, and then set up a time. To you and her get on the phone FaceTime or call and just talk then and then tell her you'll see them because like you can't oh you don't want to overwhelm her so then you know she already knows everything about you and she's gonna make up her mind like you know I don't like him and she didn't even give you a chance in person because you might be the greatest guy on earth in person but if you talk all this much and you literally run your mouth she's gonna be like dude I'm just gonna be dating a drama king or a queen or whatever um, he's he's talking more than me <laughs> Also, the more things you say, the more likely you're gonna say the wrong thing uh, because you're just trying to, it's kind of like if you're, think about it, you're at your job. If you're at your job, you can't say everything on your mind or just try to be the funny guy or be goofy. Um, that's just gonna be like, you know, it's just too much. You're just doing too much. So it's the same thing uh, in this scenario. Number two, have you sent a text message? Where do you wanna go? I don't know where I wanna go. I don't know either, where do you wanna go? And then that scenario just keeps happening over and over again, or like, you just send, you know, you're just so indecisive. Um, you can't just be like, you know what, let's go just go grab ice cream. That's like, think about it, what you also want to do. Like think about like from her perspective, what she may wanna do, but you know, you wanna think of like, what do I want to do? Like that's fun for me, not just for her. A lot of guys go wrong and they think like they have to go on like this fancy dinner, five star meal, what I'm gonna buy you, get you this gift on the first date, all this stuff. Uh, when in reality is you don't even know her. You don't, you're texting her too much, you're calling her too much. You can't make up your mind where you wanna go, what you wanna do. And that's just not, that's not gonna get you anywhere in the sense of like, you know, like setting up a, a proper date for yourself. So here's what you're gonna do to solve that problem. What you're gonna do is you're going to give her a place, a time, and you're going to wait to see if she's gonna accept or reject. So I like to think of it as kind of like a game of tennis. You wanna play the game of tennis or pickleball or ping pong against people that know how to play. You're not gonna sit there and train people for years to develop and then they just leave your ass. Same as dating. You're not just gonna go out and date some clueless person. So you're gonna have to get that together. Uh, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna you know give her a time and place like hey can you meet me at the ice cream shop 7 p.m. on a Thursday or 8 p.m. Um, and obviously like pick it with like what she likes too in mind like not just what you want to do um, and then basically she's you're gonna know immediately if she's like I can't or yes and if she's really smart and this is how you know she's the one like with my girlfriend. She set up perfectly where she couldn't make a time, I told her, but then she said, I can do this. If that girl that you're gonna go on a date with says, I can't, but what about this? She's into you and it's time to make it happen. Number three, you're, a bore, you're boring. You're just straight up, have no clue who you are, what you wanna do, what is fun for you, just straight up boring. All your texts are like, good morning, how was your day? Do you want to do this? I don't know about that. You don't know how to like set up your your place, have some like dope music. Um, you know, like if she just gets in your car, like you're immediately like switching to her music. You're trying to act all different around her because you just don't know who you are. So you're trying to like listen to like all these other influencers and all these people, like who you're supposed to be and how you're supposed to act. And you just have no clue who you are. You've done zero like research on yourself to be like, huh, you know, it's funny, like most women will actually know more about these guys going on a first date than you even know about yourself because they've dug up your past. They've looked up everything. 
they've done like they've hired forensic FBI agents to look you up <laughs> their friends don't worry you thought you deleted some pictures or like you hit something they'll find it guys number four and I think this is the most important one is you go after every single woman out there Listen, you give every single chick out there, because I know it's hard. I know it's hard for, for guys to get dates out there, especially with the, how skewed the dating apps are for women. Um, or, you know, the choices they have versus your choices. I know it's hard, but you cannot, cannot give every single woman a chance with you. And you can't do that. You have to treat it like a business. Think about it like when you're going to apply to a job. Same thing for them. They're applying to be you know, on a date with you or be your girlfriend is you can't have everybody be your girlfriend. Not everybody matches what you're looking for, for your atmosphere, for your vibe, skills, assets, um, requirements. Like when you, when you go out and apply for a job, if you don't upload your resume, they're not even going to give you an interview. So the same thing should be if they can't respond to a text message, why are you still wasting time on them? Um, now there's a thing like, you know, Mistakes are allowed to happen and you know, you give benefit of the doubt, but you can't be like a cutthroat, you know, idiot um, Or like think you're the shit when nobody's really the shit So step one, you have to start treating it the same basically um, What you're gonna do is you're going to have the applications kind of like let's say they're swiping and you know You got to fill out and respond to you and then the next step is you're gonna set up a phone interview or a phone date FaceTime, call them, Skype them, WhatsApp them if they're in a different country. Um, but you should be able to find chicks near you. Um, that's another one we'll get into, Passport Bros. But basically, um, you know, after you get the phone, you set up a real date. So then you're not wasting your time getting canceled. And then like all these chicks cancel on you. You're like, I, they're all canceling on me. I was supposed to have a date. Then you like had your entire Thursday ruined, blah, blah, blah. You don't know where else to go because you didn't do the right steps to make sure that the date has a really high chance of happening. Um, you know, otherwise, like you're just setting up like a random, like blasting out text messages. You don't build anything, any kind of connection with any chick that you're going to go on a date with. And then you're like surprised she ghosted yours like, oh, sorry, I got to cancel and no reason at all. And please. Please, 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 if you get rejected or ghosted, do not ask why. The amount of guys that are just like, like just beg to like be asked why, just accept it. You know, she's not the girl for you. She's for somebody else. The right one for you is somewhere else and you gotta go find her. Guys, that's my time. Uh, hopefully that helped explain why you're, you're, you know, your ass is getting ghosted and browse the catalog. We've got plenty of videos. Make sure you support the video by liking and subscribing. And I will catch you guys next time. Uh, let me know what you guys want to see uh, next. I am definitely reading all the comments.